Celebrate healthy choices that lead yes. to more successful futures. Visit CalFreshHealthyLiving.org. Armenian History Month is here, and we're celebrating timeless stories of greatness. Here's to the groundbreaking artists and trailblazers who are speaking truth to power. We're recognizing the brilliant inventors, the champions, and the dreamers who are creating legacies that inspire the world. KTLA 5 and Davana Law proudly celebrate Armenian History Month. This is KTLA 5, the CW, your home for live golf. Now at four, a quarter million music fans are going to Coachella Music Festival over the next couple weekends. That means serious delays if you're planning on driving through that area. Good afternoon, this is the KTLA 5 News at 4. I'm Samantha Cortese. Happy Friday, I'm Courtney Farrell and today for Pedro Rivera. The worst traffic is expected along the 10 freeway towards Indio where the festival is held. Coachella takes place over this weekend and next weekend. And then after that, we have Stagecoach. KTLA's Shelby Nelson is live in Palm Springs with what drivers need to know to avoid the worst traffic. Shelby, still windy. Still very windy and we didn't expect it to be this windy out here. So this is one of the challenges. If you're going to be driving out here, you might feel a jolt on your car. But aside from that, uh, some challenges with traffic as well. Still a very exciting two weekends that we have ahead of us. If you're not counting stagecoach, of course, uh, the two weekends with Coachella. And again, the challenge that we're talking about is that traffic. You're not really seeing much out here. It's pretty free flowing. Let me step out so you can see what it looks like behind us. But uh, take a look at some of the video we have from earlier. If you're heading towards or through the San Gorgonio Pass, if you're coming from Orange County, the IE LA, you're going to be facing some traffic in those areas, very congested in places like Yucaipa and Beaumont, lots of people on the road, and a few work zones that are contributing to the slowing of traffic. But the good news is that there are many more resources available to people this weekend. I'm told that the Riverside County Transportation Commission will have its road assistance program working. The Freeway Service Patrol or FSP, that means tow truck drivers will be on standby to help stranded drivers closer to the venue. A California Highway Patrol says that they are calling in officers from all over the area to help direct traffic along the 10 freeway and closer to the venue at the Empire Polo Club. Um, we're basically all hands on deck. All available CHP officers will be working. Monday, like I said, is our busiest day. We will have extra patrol officers on the freeway and in the intersections. And this year is year two for Coachella's return after being canceled twice during the pandemic. Tens of thousands of people are expected to descend onto the desert. And again, you've got so many great artists, Bad Bunny, Blackpink, Frank Ocean, to name a few. And then this past week, the announcement came out that Blink-182 will be performing this weekend as the surprise guest. Now, we spoke with several people who are excited. They're ready, many of them stopping to fuel up and get some food, gas, use the restroom. And like so many people who were on the road today, some anticipated a shorter drive, but turns out it was much longer than expected. Uh, from Los Angeles. From Los Angeles. Yeah, okay. we're driving in. What was that drive like? Oh it God. wasn't too bad. Well, I'm the one driving. <laughs> yeah, so it wasn't too bad. We only had a little bit of uh, a little bit of traffic. They're the passenger princesses, though, so <laughs> I have to say it was terrible. For them. So the drive over here. What time did you leave? How has that drive been? We started at around 10:45. Yeah. And we're still driving. Yeah. Yeah. We're still on the road. It's, it's, it's usually like top two hours, but then we're like on road for two hours already. So, yeah. and we still have to go like one hour more. So. Now, as you move closer to the venue over in Indio, you are going to be seeing some road closures out there. So organizers, I mean, you could expect that that area is just well organized. They've got lots of staff and crews out there. Uh, but if you do or are heading out to the Coachella Valley this weekend, just make sure to give yourself enough time because there are road closures as well as lots of traffic. And you could run into other challenges and problems out here as well. Reporting live in North Palm Springs, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. <laughs> All right, Shelby, thank you so much. In other news, renters held a protest outside the home of Los Angeles Mayor Karen Bass. They fear they'll end up on the streets because of an end to the moratorium on evictions, as well as steep increases in rent. They're demanding new protections to keep them safe. 
KTLA's Kimberly Chang reports from Windsor Square on difficulties they face.